What's going on everyone, it's Cardshark73 back with another YouTube video. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. So today we're going to be playing of my personal, uh, that I have uh, experienced, the 10 best budget decks for each uh, zombie hero. So in this YouTube video we're going to be playing uh, all 10 zombie heroes, not including Huge Giganticus because most people don't have him because he's like, uh, budget people aren't able to get him from the shop. But we're going to be playing with uh, my top 10 uh, budget decks. So first up we have Super Brains uh, Aggro, which is basically aggro based deck trying to do as much damage to your opponent as possible. So we're going to be playing one game with each deck for each hero, uh, and we'll see how we do with each deck. So hopefully you guys enjoy. And also note, uh, I am in one of uh, the higher, I'm in Diamond League, almost at Taco. Uh, most budget players will be in the lower range unless they're uh, grinding a bunch. So I will be playing against more experienced players. So uh, other people will have higher level cards, better cards, stuff like that. Yeah, full block meter right now. The let's see what he does. In place Wooly Weenie. Just cut down to size. That's fine. Okay, so now these are gonna trade. So if we play something here. He can smoke bomb it, otherwise we're going to cover the environment. If he doesn't block this, this hits for six. Okay, that's fine. Um... No, no, we're going to do this play. So it'll hit for seven, unless he rolls high. There's a two. Yeah, so now he's down to four HP. So I'll probably try and block it this lane with something with like, hopefully, oh, that's, so he only, he spends a doom shroom to kill this. That's fine, so we can bonus attack one time. Uh, clear his block meter, let's see what he gets. Okay, he got signature, that's fine. So then we just bonus attack this. And that's GG's weird, but I don't know. Permission to comment card ideas? Go ahead, you can do whatever you want in this Twitch chat. As long as they follow the uh, the rules. Alright. So, next up, we are gonna go along this way, all the way, Neptuna being the last. So, we are going to be doing the Infinity. So, for this deck, it is basically based around uh, pirates, because uh, Infinity has a really good. Uh, Pirates kind of uh, base. It has a lot of the good uh, pirates um, in it, so it'll be. It's uh, really good to be running pirates as budget. Even um, when you get more cards, stuff like that. Uh, there's a bunch of other uh, super rares that are pirates that are very good. So it's game two.
Okay, Headstone Carver is also really good because pirates, all basically every pirate, except for Quick Draw Con Man and Grave Robber, are in gravestones, so it's great to have um, to use gravestones um, for pirates because it buffs them all just because they're in they're in gravestones. So you play you can play flame face um lane three. Flame uh flame face lane three will make it strike through so it'll be able to hit it. Or you know what, here's what we'll do. Because if he can he can block and then get transmogrify or signature to get rid of the strike through. So we will save this, we'll be stealing block finger, and we will have bungee. That's fine. That's completely fine. So we can gravestone this so it doesn't die. Backyard bounce will be good. We can bounce. Bounce that. Okay, so we will pass here so we can still use Bungie, but we'll also have a backyard will bounce bounce the bird of paradise. So seven cost for seven when you play being contra being two beans. So that's basically you're just mind is another bean. Okay, so you you got Chompzilla. That's fine. So we can bungee this. Back I bounce that. Unless he uh it's fine, okay. Oh, we have another backyard bounce. That's fine, so we can play this for next turn when we play Flame Face. It'll be a, a 4 6. We can backyard bounce whatever his, uh, if he plays a um, Bird of Paradise again. That's fine, so now we can just bounce it. So if he gets. He has. Um, he could get Signature, he could get Transmogrify, he could get uh, Weed Whack to, to nerf this down to 1 2. We'll see. Transmogrify here still. Let's see. It's fine. Hoping for something a good 1 cost. Snorkel. Snorkel's alright. So now this will grow by two, and it'll have strike through, which is really good. So he's healing. So you got Galactic Cactus. That's fun. Hopefully this will talk the block, or we can roll two ones. The signature here will make it a goat. Otherwise, he. Okay, that's fine. Damn, I'm getting all the right powers. So we can play this this here, and we can shoot or retreat it for the strike through. So let's see. He's healing again. Wow. So that's 10. We're shrinking Violet. So this will go to a, a 5 attack. He's down to t he's down to 4. Play this and play this. So this will be also 5 damage if he because he's gonna try and kill this. Increased by five, ten. Next to these trade, this will grow itself. This freezes. He's down to seven. We need another a uh, another shooter to here would be good. Backyard bounce two. 
so he's this is frozen. Hang on, hang on, this is dragon. Damn. So these kill each other. I just killed all these. He's down to five. If we can get surprise guard here would be good. Ah. He's gonna block this lane. Yeah. We're we're most likely not gonna win this game. Like I said in the beginning, I'm playing against people with a lot higher level, and we're on a budget, playing a budget deck, so... There ain't, there ain't really anything else that we're gonna be able to do about this. Not great, yeah, see, he's got, like, all legendaries. But when you're playing in, like... First couple ranks, one through like 10 or 20, they won't have this many legendaries. So we kill this dragon, but he's still probably gonna win this game. We are, yeah. But that deck would have normally will normally win in the in the beginning ranks. up we have electric boogaloo so this is a deck i've played before um this is the uh budget burn deck basically it's it's dance synergy but it's uh basically it's just kind of it's kind of like an aggro where you're trying to do like as much much damage as possible where you're trying to like you're burning cards to deal damage with uh flamenco being the finisher as it uh, deals two damage to the hero for every dancing zombie on the field. Why we're running a lot of dancing zombies. tip for playing this deck is uh never play on life of the party turn one or like never play it like without anything else to play um because if you play it as just as a as a one one it'll they can most likely kill it which is not which is not good He's running a lightning read. That's interesting. Final mission in this deck is really good. Um, final mission when it can kill a zombie, do four damage, so you're able to hit face, hit face. 
so if you're not able to like hit their face you can just kill one of your zombies hit them for four if you don't have like access to double bungee or you can't get the overshoot from uh cannon him or loose cannon Flamenco, and we just watched so we are too ample. Next up, we have Professor Brainstorm. So, this is basically this is a um, budget uh, blob BMR deck where the the goal is to play um, Blob, which Blob is a very good card because um, Zombie Evolution, it gets plus one attack for each uh, brain that you've played this turn. So, you want to um, uh, combo that with, with the uh, Medela Nebula, because when you play Zombie here, you get plus two brains this turn. And brain bender, you get plus three brains this turn when you play. It's a three cost, so it basically is a free free zombie, which will add to the total attack of this. Um, and when you're not, if you're not able to kill him with with the, um, um, if you're not able to win with the blob, you're able to use bad moon rising, which transforms all zombies into random zombies that cost five or more, which is also a uh, very good card. As long as you get the right cards with BMR, then it's, it's really good. Normally, you don't want to play cell phone zombie by itself, because it, since it has one attack, one health, it'll keep pinging their block meter. Same with, um, height flyer, since it only has one attack, you don't want them getting superpowers, unless you're, like, hitting them for, like, five, four, five, six damage, sometimes three even. You don't just want to be hitting them for one damage. Now, an exception to that is if you play, like I'm about to do, Cell Phone Zombie, since... Or here's the better play. So since this is a one cost, you get two brains when you play a zombie here. here. Alright. So we play this, this will grow to a 2-2 two -two when this comes out of the gravestone. That is fine. So see... When we play Backup Dancers, this makes two 1-1 one, one Backup Dancers, which will grow this to a 4-4, four, four, so Bananasaurus Rex does not survive. It's being potato -y. Roll two threes there. So we have both of these set up for Bad Moon Rising as long as he doesn't kill him, which is good. So we'll see, we'll see what he does. Okay, so he's increasing the health, which is fine. So if we get a one cost, so we'll be able to do Admin Rising this turn. Let's see. Yeah, so next turn we'll be able to do Admin Rising. We play this here. This goes up to seven, which is enough to do bad and rising. So you want to be able to do it when you have a bunch of small minions that don't really matter, like cell phone zombie, backup dancers, stuff like that. Which is very it's very ideal to play it then. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Let's see what we 
get it. That is great. So, this is gonna make a random. This is, okay, so, Mecha Sword we got. Dino Roar it makes a random history zombie in a random lane. AKA, um, Dino Roar is when you draw a card. We also got Guard Throwing Guard, which one her makes a card in the are in a random lane, which is great. This clears the field. It's a great Bad Moon Rising. That's that's what you always hope to get from Bad Moon Rising, not um Yeah, Bullseye Minions also. Bullseye minions do not ping the block meter. Which is very, very good. field. I also got Tinkulosaurus from the Mechasaur, which, same Dino Roar effect, it does 2 damage to random plant or plant hero, uh, so we were able to clear his field. an interesting one. So for this, it's going to be uh, budget uh, professional. So basically the whole synergy is uh, professional cards. So for example, um, the uh, <clears throat> middle manager, it gets one attack when another professional gets hurt. Um, and when played, it conjures a professional. So all of these cards are professionals, which will help buff this one of the other big key ones is Jurassic Fossil Head on Professional Evolution. It's a 2 cost 2-3 two, that gets 2-2, two, two, so it'll become a 4-5 Untrickable, which is really good. Uh, f uh, flag Zombie, all zombies cost 1 less, so it'll make the whole all the zombies cheaper. And Teacher makes Tricks cost 1 less, so uh, it'll be um, making all of our stuff cheaper, along with Celestial Custodian. Uh, Custodian, when played in an environment, destroy a plant with 2 attack or less. And we're running uh, Black Hole, really good, uh, one cost environment, all plants here uh, get minus one attack. And then like when you play a plant, when they play a plant, it'll move into that lane as long as there's not another plant there, which is really good. Like Mars, Flytrap, and Monkey Smuggler. <laughs> Can you explain your question deeper? I'm, I'm kind of, I'm a little bit confused what you mean by that. So you never want to play teacher on ground. Uh, it can die to, um... Okay, that's fine. Teacher traits, it's really nice. But, uh, you gotta watch out for rumble and stuff for teacher. It's like the thing to craft, yeah. Going viral is one of the top cards to craft. I could have I could have put it in there, but a lot of people don't have going viral. So Or they don't have enough sparks to craft. So if they don't have it, then they don't they don't have it. That's that's the bummer part. Double bungee here. We can play. That's fine. That'll move to here. The uh, buckethead's good. It's a th it's a three cost uh, three four four cost three four with armor. Okay. So we're gonna double bungee this one, and we can deal with this one with the um, buckethead. That's 
so it's fine. Celestial is also really good here because it'll kill this. He has two cards over us, which is fine. But Black IP, that's fine. That moves into the black hole. He's buffing the health on it, which is fine. It's, it still has only one attack. So as long as we don't play any tricks, that will not grow. There's another Celestial. So we can just play Buckethead. Buckethead, let's see. My slide trap wall, yes, it has two non bullseye attack drains are block meters. Also gain block meter charge. Oh, Mars! I thought you were- I was thinking of the environment. Okay, that's fine. He wasted time to shine one of the best plant superpowers in the game just to kill that, which is fine. The Celestial will kill it. Mars slide trap. Block meter, but it, uh... Technically, yeah, it can also- you can also call it a, a bullseye. You can treat it as, uh, if you have, like, bungee or stuff, it's- you can just kill it with that. Or depending on the superpowers that hear you running your running has. That's fine. It's vanilla. So we can sugary tree this. Hopefully we get a superpower here. Okay, he rolled a one. There's a rolling stone. Rolling stone's good. We have to kill anything with two or attack of the left. Technically, Mars Flytrap is more like Bullseye compared to um, Monkey Pirate, because Monkey Pirate only um, Monkey Pirate only does it once. It steals two block meter once, while Mars Flytrap can keep doing it. So there's signature we can save. So he's down to six health. We got another Rolling Stone. This will be really good for controlling whatever he plays. There's Blockbuster and forgive me nuts. That's that's three for one value because it does three damage to Blockbuster and it will kill both of these. So he blocks. Let's see what he can what he gets. He gets signature. No, okay. He just kept whatever he had. So we have two rolling stones. Just fine here. And he just gets eat alright. We are four and one. Oh no. I almost went into another game. Uh so next up is um the smash, and this is going to be budget sports. So what's good about the Smash is he has Beastly and Hardy, which uh, is really good for uh, sports decks because you're able to also run uh, Alien Ooze and uh, Alien Ooze and Total Eclipse in the same deck, which is uh, really good for controlling him. But sports is really good uh, while you run like Coach. Coach makes all sports zombies that can't be hurt this turn. Team mascot grows all your sports, uh, stuff like that. And you have an amphibi amphibious sports minion, which is also good because a lot of times they can't deal with it. And going viral, like funny haha guy said, is one of it's like the card to craft, so it's really good. So it'll throw each of them by one one and give them frenzy, so they can keep attacking and stuff like that if they're if they can't get hurt, stuff like that. Fine. Suma is also a really good, really good um, two cost card. So hopefully he plays. We bait him into playing another plant. That's fine. Yeah. So we can just move, move that, and we'll kill the forget me nuts. If you didn't play anything, then forget me, that's what has survived. Welcome, Apples. How are you doing today? Let's see what he gets. Sea Shroom, that's fine. Oh, 
We can just go and viral this. Block this next turn with the uh, with the coach. So now both of these can't be hurt this turn. The coach will kill the poison ivy and sumo. Okay, so that moves here, which is fine. That's gonna hit face for three. It's perfect. We'll save that. So we have, let's see, what's the play? We'll save. So we'll play this again, so they can, all can't be hurt again. We also have the smash, smash signature, which will kill. That's completely fine. So signature here is is great. It'll just kill it. So we're able to hit face for three. So there's three blocks. I want to invest in my sports deck. Should I craft planetary gladiator, some sumos, black hole hunting grounds, or all stuff? Black hole. Uh, if you are able to do black hole, black hole is really good. Um, black hole gladiator can also be good because it's also protecting your zombie hero. Okay. Let's see. We'll play this here. So this all frenzy, so it'll kill it. And can heal. Yeah, black hole is a definite craft. So he's down to three health. And we just win. Alright, we are five and one. Our black hole is really a staple to Hardy. Okay, next up we have Rust Bowl. So for Rust Bowl, it's gonna be Rust Bowl Science. So a lot of people would say you can also run uh, a paparazzi deck, which is paparazzi gains by one, uh, grows by one one. Um, pro uh, yeah, paparazzi grows by one one. Um, when you play tricks, you can run tricks plus paparazzi. Uh, but for this, it's going to be uh, science, which is uh, science is really good. So like basically any brainy hero, you can run science, and it'll always. Um, It'll always pull through. So Gadget Scientist makes all the science zombies do bonus attacks. Um, drone Engineer grows all of your science zombies, which is really good. So, and Zombology Teacher is also good, like I said. Makes all your tri tricks cost less. He's actually your favorite class. Has my three favorite cards, two of which I don't own. Those being Going Viral, Warlord, and Stompadon. Those are, yeah, those are some, those are some really good, they're, they're good cards because they're fun to play decks with, um, but it always, yeah, it just depends on the deck that you play it with most of the time. So yeah, they can be fun to play with, but sometimes they're not the best cards, like there's other cards out there that are stronger, that are better to always like have in your decks and stuff like that. So electrician here will make uh, one of your cards do a bonus attack, which is fine. Okay, we can just trade. Oh no! So now this will hit face for three. We can rolling. So I forgot zero cost because of the teacher. So now this hits face for three. We're just going viral. Going viral here is uh, really good. And it's gonna pick all of our guys. Frenzy. Okay, this is, that's fine. So now this will trade with the Snapdragon and keep it alive. Uh, yeah, Trickster in my opinion and Apple's opinion is better. Trickster is the better card in most decks. Valk is more of like a, a kind of like a troll card. So hopefully we get Electrician back. We can do another bonus attack. That's great. Pick another card, do a bonus attack. 
So if you place something in front of here, it'll bonus attack. That's great. He played. Right, that's still that's still fine. It'll kill it. Basically, like not troll decks, but like funny decks, like decks that like you kind of can mess around with and not be super serious about. Decks that like you wouldn't put in like a. Uh, not decks that you wouldn't put necessarily like in a. Um, like for a tournament or something. Okay, that's fine. So he has Bananasaurus Rex. We can kill that with a uh, cut down the size. Here's a drone engineer. So we're drawing. We're gonna be drawing two cards here. There's teacher. And there's. Uh, <laughs> non existent yeah. Venus flytrap should cost one, keep everything else the same. Okay, so I'll play this here. Play this here. So basically, if he gro decides to grow that. Okay, so here's it going viral. So this will grow this. This will kill that. We could win here, depending on how we roll. If we roll good, we could win. There's one. Yeah, that's guaranteed lethal. So for brain freeze, this is uh, a sort of a pet deck, which is based all around kind of like cat lady stuff like that. So basically, cat lady gets um, is a one cost four health. When you play pet, it gets three attack that turn, uh, and then we're running just a bunch of pets. Uh, same with um, zookeeper. When you play pet, all pets get plus one attack, and as like an amphibious like kind of finisher, we have um. Walrus Rider, which is it becomes a 6-4 because it has anti-hero and it's amphibious. Mars Flytrap, I think, is the one. Mars Flytrap's the one that steals block meter. Venus Flytrap is the one that heals you. And then the other one, the environment. I forgot what the environment's called. He passes, we are, yeah. Okay, so we don't want to play anything yet. So we don't know what he has, what superpower, because he hasn't played anything yet. So we can play this, this, which will grow by 1 1. So now we have a 5 4, a 4 2, and a 2 1 on the field. So if he has, if he has Transmogrify or. Signature? If you play Signature, which will, it'll buff all of these. Um, Walrus is kind of, it's a its a pet, but it's also a finisher because it can go in, the, uh, in Amphibious most of the time. They can't deal with Amphibious, it'll be a 6 damage. If Pets isn't strong enough already. Okay. So he freezes that, but it's going to freeze again. It's fine, so we're hitting him for 6. It's budget, remember that apples. It's, it's just budget. AC rolled double one. Okay, so. So now this is a 4 1 in the water. We have a 
still doing really good here. We can double nibble this, or we can blow something. Okay. Most likely we're gonna... Yeah, okay, we're double nibbling this, just so he doesn't get any value. He's rating him for, for nine, as long as we blow well. So there's five. There's a one, all right. We have smoke bomb and blow. This is a this is a pet trick, which is good because it'll grow this when you play it. And then smoke bomb, we can just grow the attack of something and move it to an open one. Let's see if we can blow this, maybe? No, okay, that's fine. So we can just grow up, move this here. We roll a one, we win. Or we'll see, we'll see what he gets. If he gets weed whacked, this will die and he survives. Signature, this dies, but it'll grow both of them. Okay, so we have Walrus, Amphibious Slain. He's down to five health. It's turn six. a 7-4. Let's see, let's see what he has. Hmm. He's got three. He has, to, he has to, you'd have to have double threes. Okay, so he's, he's surviving here. Probably should have played environment there. Let's see what he has. Damn, okay, so he's got chili pepper. That's fine. There's frozen tundra. Most likely gonna lose this. We kind of we ran out of steam last second. Plus this guy is running freeze deck, which, as we all know, is a ride deck. Probably should have moved it here to kill that. Morticia is next. It's another science deck, just like Rust Bolt. Brainy Heroes, like I said, are really good for using science decks. Um, I made, I just did a YouTube video on uh, an Immortitia science deck that was better than this, but this is more of like the budget version of that. Shallery. 
haven't seen a shallow deck in so long. Or, uh, this is shallow, right? Or it's party time. Shallow is the other one. If he's Torchwood, then he's just super lucky. So he buffs it. Budget deck apples, it's like, I mean, what else? I don't know what else you want me to do. I could have run something more, but if people are lower than low, you never know. This is just like baseline, they can add whatever they want later on, but, um, they, if they just say they have no epics, and they like, they opened their very first pack, they got Immortitia, they have no epics, they got no epics, they only got rares, uncommons. You could, yeah, you can run Wormhole. Okay, so he's freezing. We're just letting him hit our block meter for one. There's an Acid Rain. We still have bats. This is a, a yeah. Bats is good. It'll help draw cards. Peat moss, interesting. Okay, so we're killing that. We don't need any repeat moss combos. If bro gets signature, I swear, bruh. Any trick. Damn. That's fine. Probably should have killed it. I mean, it's a, it has one attack. This isn't Captain Combustible, but I mean, depending on what he has, you never know. We got Fluffy Botanists. She's gonna watch buff this. That's fine. That is enough. I, I, I honestly don't know. I have no clue why they did that, but they can't really change it now because they can't make any changes. That's fine. Um... This is, this is three. So we can we'll draw cards here. <laughs> Might as well get rid of that one cost we made. Snor we got another snorkel. You can just play this here before this attacks. When he kills Chimney Sweep, we can play that on. It's. He has. Witch Hazel? Dragon, damn, he's got dragon. See, this is like what I said in the beginning. Most people are gonna have legendaries where I am. Down in the in the lower ranks, they most likely will not. So it is what it is. Hey, you got second dragon. Plus, we get summoning where we're done. Six and three. No, 
final one is uh, Budget Viral Pirates. So this one's good. I've made a YouTube video about this one. Um, this one is Pirates, but you use Going Viral, um, and then when you also pair it with the uh, Captain Flameface, it just uh, keeps attacking over and over again because it's strike through frenzy when it, it, it does strike through it kills whatever plant that is so it hits their face once but then it also does a bonus attack which hits their face again it's, it's, so it's super good So here's one, two, three. That's good. As long as he doesn't have Meteor. If he has Meteor, then it kills that, and then it kind of slows us down. Damn. We got Meteor. Is he even flying this now? So it always just depends. Most of the time, they'll have something to counter this. So radish humbling, interesting. Actually. So if you have that um you know, with the uh, headstone carver, most of the time it'll make it a 3-3 or with monkey pirate a um Okay, that's fine. He's Galacta. And he's got some interesting plays. I'll tell you right now. So we're gonna give him... We're gonna give him Frenzy. Oh damn, okay, he killed it, that's fine. He just tries to go out, wow, he's got counters to everything. I just had to counter to every card I've played so far. That's crazy. Let's see. Octo. Not really gonna help us here. He's got forget me nuts. You could block that beat. Awesome. I haven't blocked once yet. It's the okay. What do you mean the okayest card? Molecule. Okay, I'm okay, throwing everything on the line. Double twin. another headstone carver. Some carver on this. Get another legendary. Let's see what he gets. Rain? No. Signature there would have been good for him. So we do this. There's Mime Guard. And then it's this play, this play. Yeah. There was a tier list that. Alright, yeah, no, we're dead. He got bullseye. Alright. Well, we're six and four. So, like I was saying, these are two, some of the best. Um, if you have other cards, you can improve them. These are just a few samples of some of the zombie budget decks that are very common. Um, like I said, I'm in Taco League, so a lot of these people that I'm playing with legendaries, like Dragon, a bunch of good cards to counter. Um, like in two of them, like the one guy had a Bird, Dragon, Astrovera, and uh, Great Zucchini. And a lot of most, most people won't have all those, so maybe have like two, if at all, legendaries. Um, but this is basically kind of like a budget deck for beginners. 
a uh, bunch of them for all the heroes. If you have huge Giganticus, you can just use the Super Brain Sector that I showed you at the beginning. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace. This is Card Shark. Thank <laughs> you.